Right, I haven't been on for a while because I've been repainting my mini lathe. I've had it um, about five years now and I thought it deserved a coat of paint and I thought I'd change the colour on it. Now I used a cellulose paint um, for most of it, uh, all the metal parts, and acrylic on the plastic parts. I left the underside the original blue colour and um, I only took the tailstock off of the lathe, the electrical box and the back cover and the guard at the back to do the paint job. I was going to paint it grey at first but um, then I decided to try red and um, I'm very pleased with it and think it looks great. Now during the time that I've had this lathe I've um, always had um, problems with the tailstock pushing back particularly when I'm using larger drills. I think on this particular design um, the problem lies with the stud that goes down and lifts the T-nut up under the ways. The studs are a bit thin and um, I reckon it stretches after a period of time and doesn't bring that T-nut up tight enough. Although since I've um, had a look at this um, tailstock, I've stripped it down completely and I did find that one of the um, cams on the mechanism inside wasn't coming up to the top when the lever was operated. So I disengaged the um, gearing inside and moved it round a bit until it was in its optimum position. Also I found that the hole in the spindle um, where the handle goes on for the grub screw to lock onto was in the wrong position and I moved the spindle round a little bit um, and I put the handle back a little bit further, redone the hole with a drill, just a little indent and uh, the grub screw screws into that um, position now and gives me the correct movement on the handle. Also I've done two upgrades to the tailstock. One is to set the T-nut on the underside in a set position so that I can take the tailstock off of the lathe quickly and put it back on without having to reach underneath to adjust the um, position of the T-nut. And I like having it like that because I often do um, machining without the tailstock on the lathe. And the other modification I've done is to make this lever here um, a simple device that doesn't alter the tailstock much and I can use that to lock the tailstock rock solid and since I fitted this one I haven't had any problems with the tailstock pushing back. So this is what it looks like underneath and now I'll show you on the bench how I made it. So to take the tailstock apart, first of all you remove the nut at the top here and then take the bush out the top and then the T-bolt assembly will pull out. Next you slacken these two grub screws off at of the back here and the two side um, grub screws. Then you take the allen bolt out from the underside. If the um, base is a bit stuck um, you just give it a little tap and then it will come off. So in this tailstock you have two cam shafts um, connected by two gears and when the lever is pulled the gear operates both spindles at the same time and the cams move round onto this spacer lifting it up and pulling the T-bolt um, up under the ways. So on your tailstock you really need to take some time and study the mechanism how it works and see the position of those cams 
and like I say on my one this one here on this side was out a bit so that when I pulled the lever around the cam was just pointing to the side rather than going to the top and to adjust that you pull the spindle out um, turn it round maybe one tooth to start with put it back into the bore and re-engage the gears and then check again that you've got the optimum lift and to adjust this side with the handle on like I said earlier I had to re-drill a hole on the spindle um, to get that one moving into its optimum position as well I forgot to mention before you pull those um, spindles back um, you've just got to undo the grub screw in here a bit so when you've got everything correct in here you lock these grub screws down onto the shafts very lightly and then back them off just a fraction and um, that will stop the shaft from pulling out again and just check that it's not too tight on the mechanism so to do this upgrade I first drilled a couple of clearance holes in my T-nut and those holes like I say are clearance holes just to clear 2BA screw thread so next I put the whole tailstock assembly together again and to do this um, the most important thing that you've got to remember is this um, spacer here it must be in its right position and to do that you can um, turn the tailstock upside down maneuver it into position with a screwdriver so it's in between the two shafts and then put the base of the tailstock on and put the locking allen bolt in the underside and tighten that one down lightly all the while keeping this one upright like this upside down if you um, move it to one side the bush could fall to one side and the um, stud wouldn't go through the center of it so that one feeds down through the center of the bush like that if that bush inside is not in the position correct position for that stud to go down through the center then the camshaft mechanism will not work so while holding the t-nut assembly in there like that you withdraw it slightly and put the bush in the top side bore and then the locking nut on the top then while the tailstock's in this position tighten that nut up fully so that it pulls the T-bolt onto the face of the tailstock and then just check that it's nice and square as if it's going to go into the lathe and while this T-nut assembly is tight on the base there like that I get a nice fitting um, transfer punch and centre punch uh, where the screws are going to go on the base of the tailstock I then take the tailstock apart again there'd be two centre punch holes here or indents here and um, I set the drill pillar drill or bench drill so that it leaves about five thou thickness um, when you drill down to depth you don't want to drill right the way through so you drill that depth uh, with the core diameter for a um, 2BA thread and then 
tap those holes nice and square using the uh, bench drill to start the taps off if necessary by hand or using um, a device like I've shown in one of my last videos it's a very important to get those nice and square and um, tap those to finish then I got some 2BA um, screws, long screws, cut them off um, to length and um, put a saw cut in for a screwdriver and those screw down to the bottom of the hole and just tighten up with a screwdriver. You can lock tight them in there if you want to, but I don't think that's necessary. So that's what it looks like with the um, 2BA studs in the base. And I have them protruding by about 20 millimeter. And um, when the T-nut assembly feeds up through, it's a nice sort of loose fit on those um, studs. Um, and that's so that when you are tightening or pulling the lever over and that pulls up it's not going to bind anywhere on those threads and um, those holes there I didn't say what size I did those earlier but I drilled mine to six millimeter so I've just reassembled it and you can see that lifting the T-nut underneath with the operation of the lever um, but to finish off I found a small spring um, I think it's about something like 13 millimeters across doesn't really matter as long as it fits and I put that in between the top um, of the gap and compressed the spring and put it over the top of the um, stud and that keeps the assembly pushed down so that you can insert the tailstock onto the lathe so that's what it looks like finished the spring in there and the spring cannot come off until you compress it to get it over the stud. So that's it on this part and my alignment method. I'd just like to say that since I've um, done these changes to the cams inside, um, the lever operation works brilliantly now and very rarely does the tailstock push back. But to prevent all movement on the tailstock, as you've seen, I've made a locking device that goes on the back of the tailstock. And in my next video, I'll show you how I made that one and how I fitted it to the lathe. And it's a simple device, very little change um, done to the tailstock, just a couple of um, threaded bolt holes. And um, it's easy to make and set up. And um, that one will actually lock this assembly rock solid and you won't have any problem with the tailstock pushing back in the future. So if you look out for part two, you will see it there.